What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Ben, your host. Now, today when it comes to watchOS 11, I'll be happy to let you know that we now have the third point update. As you can see, this is watchOS 11.3 developer beta one. And this update for me on my Apple Watch Ultra one comes in at exactly 392 megabytes. I was updating from watchOS 11.2, the official release of course, but this is not all that Apple released today. Just to keep you in the loop, you can see alongside this update, Apple also released Vision OS 2.3 beta, tvOS 18.3 beta, we have macOS 15.3 beta, I already did a video on that, and we have iOS and iPadOS 18.3 betas. If you want to keep up to date with all these operating systems and know what, what's new and what they contain, then definitely do hit that like and subscribe so that you stay up to date. Now, I'm just quickly going to download and install the update and then we're going to look at the OS changes to see what the software update has to offer. I've now updated my Apple Watch. You can see it's now up to date with the latest OS and if I go into the settings right here and then go to general and go to the about, you can see the new build number that we have. It's 22S5534D. So this version ends with a D and in terms of stability, it does go to tell us that we still have a couple of betas to go, probably like three or four more betas to go before we see the official release of watchOS 11.3. Now, in terms of what's changed or what this update has to offer, one of the first things that I would like to highlight, it's an issue that I was experiencing on the previous watchOS 11.2, and it had to do with the screenshots that one would take with the Apple Watch that wouldn't synchronize almost immediately on the iPhone that synced with the Apple Watch. So this is how you take a screenshot on the Apple Watch, just like this. And it makes, if only that my watch is on silent, but if it wasn't, it makes like a shutter sound. And when you do that, and you go into your camera roll, you're supposed to see it right like this immediately. And previously, I was experiencing an issue when I was trying to make a thumbnail, like this is the thumbnail that I made for watchOS 11.2 that came out a few days ago. And you can see how I managed to take the screenshot, but I had to do it multiple times with me like this in order to get it to synchronize because I thought it wasn't synchronizing properly, which was the case. And with watchOS 11.3, this beta, that issue seems to have been resolved. When I scroll down and take a couple screenshots, bring my iPhone closer, boom, the screenshots have now synchronized in real time and fast, which is good to have. Previously on watchOS 11.2, I was having an issue with my modular dual watch face where it was showing up blank. But after I updated, I actually went to the same watch face and added some complications. I restarted the watch and the complications actually stayed. They didn't glitch out, which is good. And just to test out further, I went into my watch face and I added a new uh, modular dual watch face right there. I added and edited the complications as you can see, and it's still showing up good. So it seems like that blackout bug or that um, minimalistic looking watch face has been resolved in the issue issue in the background is no longer existing. One of the things to look out for as we go into the holiday season is Snoopy. Now there are a few animations since this is adaptive to the season and uh, whatever you have going on in your area. This one will show you different animations according to that. There are complications or animations that I noticed Snoopy doing like Christmas decoration or rather holiday decorations as you can see like this. So this is one of the many animations that Snoopy is going to be doing. Sometimes he dresses in a certain way to depict the holiday season. Sometimes he decorates the second hand, the hour or the minute hand on the Snoopy watch face. So keep an eye out for that. It's very hard to get it to always show the holiday themed ones, but it's at least something that's good and is always being updated in the background. It doesn't really have to do with the OS, but it's good to see that Apple is keeping up with Snoopy. One of the issues that this update has, which I haven't yet got to test, has to do with the battery charge. Now, if you charge your battery to 100, you should be able to get a notification that tells you, hey, 
Apple Watch is fully charged and if you have the notification sent to your iPhone as well you should be able to see the same notification but there is an issue with that with a number of users not being able to get that and at the same time if you have the Apple Watch Series 10 there doesn't seem to be any changes for the always on display watch faces so it seems to at least continue to be the default with what you have on watchOS 11.2 for the Apple Watch Series 10. I found that through research as this is the Ultra One. In terms of the release notes, you can see here when we go to the Apple developer page and go to watchOS 11.3 release notes, Apple doesn't really mention anything. They said there are no new release notes for this software update. Obviously, with further testing and investigation as we go through the OS and test it, I might be able to find more changes that this software has to offer. But for now, you can see Apple doesn't really help us in that regard and in terms of when the next beta could be coming out it actually might be a while because as you know Apple usually takes the last two weeks of December off and so if you aren't in a rush to update your main device to this beta because you know it doesn't have a lot of new features or changes to offer today being December the 16th usually Apple takes the last two weeks and in fact into the first week of January off so we might be able to see the next watchOS 11.3 beta 2 on the week of January the 6th so we might be able to go three weeks without an update so if you aren't in a rush and you know this doesn't excite you then I don't think there's a need to update your main device to this because it's just another update but other than that this is how watchOS 11.3 is on my Apple Watch Ultra 1. Let me know what you think about this video. If you liked it leave a like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.